Okay, so a few months ago was my birthday, and of course with birthdays you always get cards. Now this is one of those dig uh, digital cards where it has a circuit board inside there and a small piezoelectric speaker, but it also has something else. It has a motor inside of it. It's interesting. And it's evidently geared because you can't turn it. I mean, I somewhat despise audio cards, but this one kind of intrigued me. Let's open it up and see what uh, what makes it go. First, we're going to have to deactivate it. That was easy. So here's the main circuitry of it. You have the main circuit board with no chips released. It's a surface mounted chip with three little batteries, a piezoelectric speaker, and the geared motor assembly. Whenever you pull this paper tab out, it opens up this contact, or actually closes the contact. And uh, I'll rip this off real quick. I imagine this runs at 4.8 volts because this system has three batteries. Oops. Evidently, it only works for like 30 seconds. But. Whoops. Let's see what batteries we got in this. They are, uh, looks like L, uh, uh, LR44 cells. Doesn't say what chemistry they are, though. They don't really say anything on the labels. But they can surely be used for something. Yep, so three LR44s, which I, I think that's the number of them. So here is your main circuit board. The back doesn't really have anything on it. And the front has your three battery hookups. And... Uh, Now this arm is the main contactor, and as you can see down here, it was connected to the battery terminal, so it was wired directly into there. And this part goes on here, I think. And that is what slides to make it contact or not contact on, off. And then we have your main surface mount chip. Basically what they do is they take the microchip, which is extremely small, and they just place it on the board. Uh, solder it in and then dab it with with a uh, epoxy and that's what you see on there which these are pretty fun to x-ray you can see the, the traces on the bottom at, right there it looks like it only has seven pins that it uses so it's a very limited function board it, it probably has I'd say maybe 200 kilobytes of memory inside of it and then a little, uh, a little memory sequencer and digitizer that uh, is programmed to play out the memory in the ROM and then it uh, sends that data to the sound circuit which I, I wouldn't really say call it a sound chip I just call it a sound circuit because it's probably only a few transistors oh but evidently the chip has switching capabilities because it directly powers the geared motor so that's kind of interesting but also, I'd imagine this motor doesn't pull much amperage. Okay, now we got the wires all spliced and connected to my power supply. Let's add a little thing back on there. 
And connect it to the test tube holder. Just FYI, this is the milliamps that is pulling, and this will be the voltage. Now it's time to open it up, see what's actually inside this thing. Huh. Now that is a small motor. So I, I think we would all agree that was a pretty nifty little find, especially this motor. It's magnetic. Get off there.